Hello, second graders. I'm here to introduce our phonics skill of the week, which is the long I sound. We're going to learn the long I sound that goes with the word five. F I. Do you hear the I in the middle sound of the word five? F I. We are going to be identifying words that have the long I sound, or I, in the middle. And underneath the number five, you can see four different spellings of the I sound. Today, we are going to be focusing on the spelling pattern I blank E, just as in the word five. To start, I have the word on the screen, I. Kit. And kit has the short I sound, I, as in igloo or iguana. So this is a short I sound. But by adding an E on the end, I can make this word a long I sound and turn it into a new word. Right now the word is kit. But if I add an E, it becomes. What do you think, second graders? What word will it be? That's right, it's kite. K -I -T. Do you hear the long I sound in the middle of the word? K -I, -T. I, I hear an I in the middle of that word. So again, focusing on words that follow the spelling pattern, I blank E to make a long I sound in the center of the word. Let's try it again. Here is the word b it bit. Hmm, second graders, that sounds like a short I sound to me. b i it i as in igloo or iguana. If I want to turn this word into a new word with the long I sound, b i making the I sound, I need to add an E to follow my spelling pattern. And as a reminder, the word bit is a CVC word, consonant, vowel, consonant. When we add the E on the end, it turns into a consonant, vowel, consonant, E word, a CVC E word. Bite, b i t. Do you all hear the I sound in the middle of bite? Hopefully, and it follows our spelling pattern of CVCE or I blank E. Here's one more. Can you sound out that word, second graders? Hmm. R -i rip. Rip. That's a CVC word. That is a short vowel sound, a short I sound. Add the E on the end and turn that I into a long I sound. What word does it become? Hmm. R I ripe. Like my fruit is ripe. Ripe. Here's a few more. Can you think of what these words sound like and say them out loud? You try first. D I'm dime. I have a dime in my pocket. Get ready for the next one. Hmm. What word is that? That's right. It's fine. F I'm. I'm having a fine day. And it follows our spelling pattern for long I words, I blank E. In this case, the consonant in between I and E is the letter N. Let's get ready for the next word. Shine, shine. And our last one, W I. Wipe. I wipe down the table. Wipe. 
Did you hear the long I sound in all of those words? I. Say it with me, second graders. I. Now, it's your chance to scout out the words with long I. There are a lot of words on this screen. Let's see if you can find the words that follow our spelling pattern with an E on the end and make the long I sound of I. I'll give you a few moments to find as many as you can. All right, I'm going to reveal all of the long I words on this screen on the count of three. One, two, three. There they are. Did you find them all, second graders? You can find, look at them now. Ride, line, time, pipe, bike, nine, and line. Those were all of the words with long I sound, and they followed our spelling pattern. All right, second graders, now that we've learned a little bit about the long I sound in the middle of words, you're going to do an activity on Schoology where you are going to identify long I words in sentences. Good luck.